Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start with straight hair. Um, this hair is how many days old? Two. Two days old. What we did was we washed it and then she let it air dry naturally and then she flat ironed it because she has um, naturally pretty curly hair. So two days old because you want the natural oils from your hair. The next step you're going to do is you're going to take a uh, heat protectant and I'm using Chi 44 Iron Guard. This is just a travel size and I'm just going to spray this throughout her whole head to protect her hair from the heat of the curling iron. A brush. This is just a Chi regular brush like this and I'm going to brush it out just to make sure that the um, heat protectant is, you know, distributed through all her hair. I'm going to take a little bit of Chi Silk Infusion just to add a little bit of shine to the hair before we start working on it. Depending upon your hair, you use a different amount. I'm using only this amount for her whole head. Concentrating it mostly on her ends and I'm going to do it by layers. So I'm going to take a section of hair. Depending upon, again, how much hair you have is how big you'll do the section. I'm doing a pretty large section. She wants them to be loose waves. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take section, sections of hair, again, pretty large, since she wants her, her curls to be really loose. And I'm just going to take the curling iron and wrap the hair around the iron and hold it for about 15 seconds. Slowly bring it down onto your hand and let it go. I'm going to do this to each piece of hair. You could do them all in different directions if you want so they don't bunch up and become one big curl. So I'm just doing holding the curling iron in different ways and in different directions so she can have a whole bunch of different um, waves going in different directions. Um, if you were to use a bigger curling iron you would get more of a bigger wave slash curl but um we since her hair is going to drop you do i always keep in mind that your hair will drop so i always use a bit of a smaller curling iron and then we always i like to um you know kind of play with the curls at the end a little bit to give them a little bit more shape i want to use too big of a piece because then it's not gonna it won't really have that much shape to it This um, hair is perfect for graduation pictures, which she's doing her senior pictures, which are the pictures that come out in the yearbook. This is perfect because your hair looks done, but it doesn't look overdone. This curling iron, I'll put all the information below. It's the same curling iron that I used when I did my curling hair video, which I'll also link below. I got it at Sally's, and it's um, Jill Bray de Paris or something. And it's really good. I really like it. And remember, any pieces, once you start getting close to your face, turn the curling iron away from it and curl the hair out. Because if you curl the hair in, it's just going to look like a bunch of hairs attacking your face. Okay, so we basically did the same thing throughout her whole head. All of her hair is brought to the front. Now what I'm going to use to kind of style it a little bit so that it doesn't look as tight is I'm going to use a little bit of this Garnier Fructis uh, Curl Sculpting Cream Gel. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my hand, that much. And then I'm going to mix with it. You can mix your favorite um, serum. And ours is the Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum. This stuff is amazing. And I'm just going to use one, about half a pump. So that's going to be together. I'm going to mix it in my fingers like this. And then I'm just going to kind of brush out the curls with my fingers. And it's going to give them a little bit more shine. And a little bit more, you know, body. I don't want to run it through your through your scalp a little to lift it because when you curl your hair, your your this could get tend to be flat, and you don't want it to be flat either. So, kind of want to run your fingers through it, but you don't want to touch it too much because you don't want them to completely, you know, die. And then you're gonna use a little bit of a sh finishing spray. If your hair is harder to curl, you're gonna want to use something with a little bit more oomph. This one is the Tresemme uh, Finishing Spray, Naturals, and we're just going to spray a little bit of this all over. So that's the end of this hair tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. So say bye.